Hello friends, this is a case of salpingoophrectomy of the left side of ovarian recurrent endometrioma. So present family is already complete and previously you know endometrial fertilization and left side ovarian cystectomy was performed but still she has endometrioma. So we will do salpingoophrectomy of left side endometriotic fulguration and we will remove the left side of tube and ovary with the help of uh, you know endocatch. So now pneumoperitoneum is started and we are using various needle for pneumoperitoneum and this is supraamlical port. So preset pressure is kept 15 and slowly the insufflation is started. Here approximately you know 3.5 liter gas was used to fully insufflate the abdomen so that the actual pressure can reach to the preset pressure. So family is already complete, patient is already 40 plus and we are performing it so that she has severe pain on the left side and hydrosalpings was also there. In MRI, it has shown that it is a lump and tube ovarian mass on the left side. Right side of ovary is fine and uh, she doesn't want to retain the ovary and tube because it's a recurrence of the endometrioma. So we have uh, started the pneumoperitoneum and approximately 3 liter gas is already in and waiting it now for reaching up to 3.5 liter. So slowly we have to start the insufflation because initially the flow rate should be only 1 liter per minute. This is important in various needles as you know. But once you have put the approximately 1 liter gas then you may increase it to 3 liter per minute. But as you know in the various needle one of the big thing is that even if you go to 3 liter per minute then maximum amount of gas which can flow is 2.5 liter. So now it is approaching to 3.5 liter and the actual pressure is reaching to preset pressure. So now it's over and after that we will enlarge the incision to 11 mm to introduce the optical port. So this is optical 10 mm port which we are introducing supraamlical. White balancing and focusing of telescope is already over. We connecting the tubing of insufflated again and now the flow rate maximum flow rate will be increased to 10 liter per minute. But even if it is 10 liter it will not flow 10 liter it will be ready for 10 liter. Now here we are inside the abdomen this is 18 centimeter so 7.5 centimeter lateral. This is second port patient head is going down and you will put the Tendelenburg position and this is the second port that is 5 mm. We will use 5 mm to ipsilateral port and 3 port will be sufficient to perform this surgery. And again another port 7.5 cm lateral and below approximately 1 cm above and medial to the anterior superior iliac spine. All the bowel will be moved up so that we can do diagnostic after that second port will be introduced. So now diagnostic just by pushing the bubble up above the sacral pementary so that it will not disturb you and you can do the diagnosis of the endometrioma and you can look for the surrounding other bowel and rectum and other adhesions and now this is the third port is introduced. So 
So all the ports are in position and now patient is in a steep Tellenberg position. As we can see here, this all bowel is moved up and there is a little blood inside. Means these are the, you know, the due to the endometriosis and probably the ovulation of the right side of the ovary. This is right side of the ovary. You can see one follicular cyst which is already rupturing. And this is left side is a tube ovarian mass. We can see all is tube ovarian mass. So tube is also dilated and tube and ovary is making one bunch. Right side is fortunately okay. But the cyst we will rupture and we will check the right side that is there any endometrioma on the right side or not. So this is little bit adhered with the sigmoid but once you will lift it with the IP ligament this adhesion is now it is free. This is a lump, you can see this tube ovarian mass which is adhered with the sigmoid is free now and now it is ready to remove it. This is the tube, this is hydrosalping, it is ovary and all is making the mass. Although you can do ovarian cystectomy but here the patient preference was just to take it out. So we are applying the ligation with the IP ligament and slowly slowly salpingiophrectomy is started. You can use in this any instrument ligation harmonic bipolar because it's a simple procedure and it can be done within two minutes. There is no much problem in this. So we have to keep antromedial traction and now it is mesosalping is done and after that reaching near the tube. Round ligament should not be damaged. This is meso ovarian. And this is the tube. So we will leave six centimeter, six millimeter of the tube towards the uterus to prevent any uteroperitoneal fistula or the. And uh, just now, salpingiophrectomy is over. After that, we are putting the tube in the right iliac fossa, and we can see this is endometriosis. So we will fulgurate it with the harmonic ball. Our harmonic ball is a good instrument because it doesn't give the temperature more than 80 degree centigrade and because it is not a monopolar current so it, there is no any chances of excessive burn and you can do the ablation or fulguration of the endometriosis. Little pelvic endometriosis is there and it was due to that endometrioma only which was adhered in the ovarian fossa. Suction irrigation just to take some fluid from the cul de sac. And now, this is right side of the ovary, is good, it's looking fine. And there is no any cyst, there was follicular one follicular cyst which is already ruptured. After that little suction in the remaining part and you may do little irrigation and suction to clean the any fluid which is there in the pelvic cavity. At that time patient head should be little up so that the fluid should not gravitate to the 
मॉरिसन्स पाउच और सब डायफ्रामेटिक एरिया तो दिस इज क्लीनिंग द एबडाम विद द सक्शन इरिगेशन एंड दिस इज एंडो कैच एंडो कैच हैज ए मेटल रिंग एंड पर्स स्ट्रिंग बोथ तो वंस यू विल पुश इट इज टेन एम एम यू विल पुश दिस पिस्टन देन दिस एंडो कैच कम्स आउट एज ए मेटल स्टील रिंग एंड वंस यू विल पुल दिस थ्रेड मेटल विल कट आउट and this thread will create a purse string so this is a very good retrieval bag but before that we are putting inter seed in the kalti sack so that any adhesion will not happen with the rectum and to the posterior wall of uterus so just uterus is lifted up and this is the inter seed you will put in the kalti sack this is the endo bag and as you can see it is already open as soon as you will enter inside and it will self retaining you don't have to open the mouth after entering automatically mouth of the endo bag will open and now this tube ovarian mass we have put it inside the endo bag and this now metal ring will be pulled separately from the purse string so as soon as you will pull this metal ring is out and then purse string will bring the mouth of endo bag inside the cannula and then everything will be pulled together with the 10 mm port once the little stretch may be required some time once the mouth of the endo bag is out then you will puncture the endometrioma inside the endo bag and then all the chocolate material you can suck out so that it will so we can see this is sucking the endometrioma chocolate material out and after that you will do little up down right left sometime with the ovum forceps you may have to pull the cystic wall so that retrieval will be easy so this is the ovum forceps which is coming in the endo bag and putting the cystic wall and now it is out port closure is must in these cases so we are using cobbler shingle here and it is going superior and inferior lateral and medial you should not go otherwise you can puncture accidentally the inferior epigastric vessel so superior and inferior to the wound you can put the and then you can pull this suture out and then tie the knot once you tie the knot gas should stop leaking that means port is closed otherwise you can take another bite so it's done and it should not be very tight otherwise it will be painful so it's over thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day